Hello and welcome back to eCabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I'd like to show you a trick that I came across on how to change your board stock in custom layout or batch even. Um, eCabinets does have a feature where you can change materials but currently you can only change sheet stock or banding stock. You can't change any board stock. So I'm going to show you a way to do that um, on all your cabinets without having to take each cabinet in the cabinet editor and changing the board stock to whatever material you're wanting to change it to. Uh, currently in this job here I'm using three quarter maple. What I'm going to want to do is change that to cherry. So, I currently have maple doors and drawer fronts on these two cabinets here. So, before I do anything else, I want to change those doors and drawer fronts to cherry also. So, I'm in my Conestoga library here. I'm going to click CRP10 and General and Cherry. Under General, change the species to whatever material you're going to be using and click OK. And do the same thing for the drawer fronts. Change it to Cherry. OK. Now, if I go into render here, you'll see that the doors have been changed to cherry, but the face frames, which are three quarter maple saw, uh, board stock, have not been changed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this job just like it is. And I'm going to close out of it. I just saved it, so I don't want to save it again. Or I don't need to save it again. Okay, now, what we're going to do is go into Define Materials and Dimensions. Either click here or up here, either one. I'll go into Define Materials. And under Board Stock, look for the three-quarter uh, maple that we had or that we have for our face frames or board stock in general now this will change every bit of that anything in that drawing that has that is using three-quarter maple board stock it's it's going to, to um, we're going to change all of it so if I click delete it's asking me are you sure yes I want to to delete it and click OK and OK. Now I've deleted that three-quarter maple from my material list but I have not deleted it from the cabinets. It's still on the cabinets. It's still in my cabinet library. Any cabinet that I have that material on it still has that material. But when we load this job back it's going to prompt me it's going to say material not found and then it's going to say add new material and it's you know wanting to know if you want to add this material as a new material well right now we don't because we want to change all that we're going to select an available replacement and that is going to be cherry and I'm going to replace it with that material now if I run my cut list here we'll see that all this board stock is now cherry so board stock summary board stock listing right here left style right style all that's cherry which is exactly what we're wanting 
Now, there is a little quirk on this. If you take one of these cabinets into Cabinet Editor, um, as you can see, everything is actually cherry, just like we wanted it to be. But if you go into your settings and preferences and in face frames, and you go to page 2 here, you will see that it took the next available three quarter board stock that was right after that three quarter maple and plopped it right in there. It, it replaced it all with the next available three quarter board stock that I had in my uh, material list. For whatever reason, it did not change it to cherry. Now at this point, if I clicked OK, whether I made any changes at all, it would change the face frame to three quarter poplar. Um, in this case, it's got a white texture. So if I click OK, let's see what happens. See, it changed it, but it didn't change these center style and center rail because those were added in the face frame editor but if I went into the face frame editor and let's say I put in a center style right here <clears throat> or mid mid style I should say okay watch what happens when I return back to main hide that and put that center style in there with that material so with that being said if you make any changes to your face frame or you come in after you change your material like that and you make any changes to your face frames or you just come in here and you look and if you're going to if you click that OK button it's going to change these parts to this material so what you would do or what you need to do in that case is go ahead and make that change and then you can click your OK button and obviously it didn't change that because I just added it but with that being said you can do stuff to your actual box here your your box components um, in other words you can add um, you can go into your partition editor and you can delete for example you can delete this shelf here and you can return back to main or you can add a partition um, if you want go back to main and it's not going to affect your face frame only if you come into your face frames and you make any changes or even if you don't make any changes you click OK it's going to change it which in this case I had already changed it to cherry so we were in good shape so I hope this helps um, if you have any questions just contact me or post your questions um, before I do leave though um, I want to show you what you need to do I had forgot to do this let's go back to main and I don't want to make any changes um, after you bring this file in and you select Cherry, um, you can then immediately, if you want, um, and I do recommend this so you don't forget it just like I've done, almost done, go back into your cabinet editor and pull up a cabinet that has that material, that three-quarter maple material. It's going to prompt you for that material and you can add it right back. Just that easy. Um, 
and you don't even have to save that cabinet again. Now that material is right back into your um, defined materials board stock and as you can see three quarter maple is back and it will not affect the changes you made when you opened this job this is still um, cherry see so I hope this helps um, like I said if you have any questions or comments please be, feel free to post and by all means um, subscribe to my channel and get all the latest tips and tricks as I come up with them. Um, thank you for watching.